You are looking live at Soldier Field in Chicago where the Bears take on the Washington Redskins in a struggle for playoff survival. The winner moves on to the NFC Championship, the last stop to Super Bowl 21. Chicago has won the toss and they'll receive. Steve Cox will be kicking off for the Redskins. These teams that have appeared in the Super Bowl in three of the last four years and we're underway. It'll be Gentry at the four. And Dennis Gentry to the 45. Written out of bounds after a 61-yard kickoff return by Darrell Green. And Dennis Gentry is gone if he doesn't get his legs tangled. Watch when he breaks through. He's going to catch it right there. That little stutter step is going to keep him from going the distance. He runs out of sideline, and what a way to start the game for the Chicago Bears. Looney, wide open is Galt. And Galt, close to first down yardage at the 24, is tackled by Darrell Green. First and 10 for the Bears on the Redskin 24. A 61-yard kickoff return has put the Bears in this position. Peyton going right. Good block. Penalty marker is down, and Peyton is stopped inside the 15-yard line. The play made by Vernon Dean and Alvin Walton in the secondary. And Bob McElwee signals holding against the Chicago Bears. At the last minute, Galt, the intended receiver, and Darrell Green step for step. And it was Galt who told us the other day that Darrell Green is as quick as Carl Lewis. And, of course, he would know being a track star in his own right. Well, there was a race last year to determine uh, who's the fastest man in the National Football League. In the finals, it was Darrell Green and Willie Galt. And Darrell Green won by about a half a step. Let's look at Doug Flutie at the end of the play. Now, you see how he throws the football. It's kind of a sidearm motion and a little takedown at the end. No big deal there, but a pretty well-thrown ball that time by Doug Flutie. Extra men in the secondary for the Redskins on third and 18 at the 32. Flutie steps up, tipped away, and not intended for Lou Barnes. Butler, 28 for 41 this year. kick is no good it's off to the left and the 49 yard attempt by Butler is no good in the first quarter no score and Jay Schrader for the second time George Rogers the running back receivers to the left Art Monk moves Rogers cuts up the middle and with good power running Rogers gets close to a first down Dave Duerson on the tackle to the 45 and Kelvin Bryant fighting his way to midfield where it'll be third down and two for the Redskins and Mike Rit Richardson has to be separated from Gary Clark with a little sparring there against the pressure Schrader completes to Kelvin Bryant who goes out of bounds after picking up the first down and getting into Bear territory at the 41 yard line Fensick made the stop Second and ten. Schrader on the run. And he hits Gary Clark for a first down and out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Covered by Vesty Jackson, the pickup of 13. All three Bear linebackers come on that play. There's Singletary coming in the middle, but Schrader senses it, rolls out. Gets a clear alley and a fine delivery of the football to Gary Clark. You know, yesterday, Jay Schrader looked at both you and I, Dick, and said, I hope they blitz me. Kelvin Bryant replaces Rogers. Bears are showing a blitz. And Schrader has to get rid of it, and he does, and it's caught by Art Monk for a touchdown. A 28-yard touchdown pass. And if they were concerned about Jay Schrader's ability to recognize the blitz, he passed the first test stand with flying colors, and the Redskins lead six to nothing. 
Live by the blitz, die by the blitz. Only it takes skill to do it. And I'm sure Mike Ditka can hardly believe what he's just seen. Art Monk makes it six to nothing. And now Jess Atkinson. Who replaced Mark Mosley and Max Sendejas kicks the extra point and the Redskins lead it seven to nothing. And Art Monk, who has been a consistent, brilliant receiver, catches this big one. Here's Gary Fensick. Here's Mike Singletary. They're both going to come up the middle. Mike Michael's going to be free, but Schrader gets rid of the football so quickly. And it is so hard to make a quality throw like this, falling backwards. But Michael's in your face, and he's got the arm strength to get it like that to Art Monk. Boy, there just aren't many people that can make that play. Jay Schrader just did. 2.15 remaining in the first quarter. And so far, a shocker. Second and five at the 30. Flutie. Dave Butts chased him, and Tim Reitman, the tight end, makes the catch for a Bears first down. At the 37, Olkowitz on the tackle. Puts the pressure on, but the pass is caught by Reitman again. And he picked up close to nine yards that time. Calvin Daniels and Neil Olkowitz, two linebackers, brought down the tight end. Neil Anderson in motion, the rookie from Florida. First and ten at the 49. They're going for goal. And he'll be off. Touchdown, Bears. Now let's go to Daryl Green and Willie Gall. Now, Daryl Green giving Galt the inside, gets fooled badly, and even when he tries to grab Galt, he can't make the play. Curtis Jordan, too late to get there. Speed, it's good for a touchdown. Well, we expected the ground game to dominate, but so far, Galt and Monk have caught touchdown passes in a 7-7 game. Second and 13, back to the 39-yard line. Schrader, and it's intercepted. Mike Richardson, down the sideline, to the 10, inside the 5. Richardson led the Bears with seven interceptions. And a big one here as Don Warren made the tackle and prevented a score. This is what Jay Schrader did not want to do. Under pressure, try to force a completion. That's exactly what he did. Trying to go to Clark, Jackson, and Richardson had the under over and the ball severely underthrown. And Mike Richardson, right where he was, made the big play for Chicago. But Jay Schrader should have thrown that ball into the bench. A 42-yard return by Mike Richardson. Eight minutes and 19 seconds remain in the first half, and this crowd is at a fever pitch. Payton to the three. Second and goal at the two. And the give is to Sui, who tried to slice in and didn't get much, and it's going to be third down at about a yard and a half. Steve McMichael is in as a third tight end now for the Bears on third and goal at the two. And they give it to Peyton. And Dexter Manley throws Peyton for a loss back to the six-yard line. And a big play by the Redskins. And it's fourth down. A big boost for the Redskins defense. And now Kevin Butler will try a 23-yard field goal. He missed from 49 in the first quarter. And Butler's kick is good. And the Bears take the lead for the first time today, 10 to 7. But they had first and goal at the four, and they were looking for the touchdown. Schrader with time. Knocked away, intended for Art Monk, and a fine play by the rookie, Vesty Jackson, out of the University of Washington. It'll be fourth down. Peyton now, the lone back, Anderson in motion, and Manley came from behind before the ball was snapped. And he draws a flag. 
You cannot take a free shot on the quarterback like that, Dexter. Personal foul. Number 72 defense. Unnecessary roughness. First and 10 at the 36-yard line of the Redskins. The Bears lead 10 to 7. Flutie completes the pass to Keith Ortico, who had only caught two passes in the last six games, and he's knocked out of bounds by Darrell Green. Payton. Close to first down yardage. Neil Olkowitz made the initial hit and was followed up by Curtis Jordan. Slowed him up just enough in the Redskin defense, which has already proven itself in dramatic fashion on a goal line stand. Now faces a third and one. On the Skins, 27. They go to Peyton. And it's going to be close as Peyton tried to back his way in. It was Dave Butts and Monty Coleman coming up on the play. I don't think he's going to be there. Bears were 5 of 12 on fourth down plays. That's pretty good this year. Quarterback sneak, and it looks like Flutie has it. Flutie up the middle, and Ortigo can't hold on. It'll be an incomplete pass and a crunching hit by the free safety Curtis Jordan there. Keith Ortigo makes his move to the inside. And, boy, look at that as the quarterback Vernon Dean went all the way down to the ground. Dean fell. Ortigo has a sure touchdown if it's not for Curtis Jordan getting back into the play. Third and 15 on the 31. Inside handoff to Peyton. Blocking is Mark Bortz in the game. And Peyton goes out of bounds. And the second consecutive time that the Redskin defense has forced the Bears, even though they had good field position, to try for a field goal rather than six points. The last time they had a first and goal. Butler's kick is good. On first down at the 48, Flutie fires, tipped, and intercepted by Vernon Dean. To the 43-yard line, 21 seconds to go. And so the mistakes that they hoped Flutie wouldn't make in his zeal to get the ball in good field position throws the interception. Well, let's look from the end zone and see if this is Doug Flutie's mistake. Good pass protection. He feels a little heat, steps up. It's Monty Coleman underneath that gets his hand on the football, deflects it to Dean. Yep, that ball was thrown too low, and Coleman got a hand on it. The Redskins could have been worse off. But they trail anyway at halftime, 13-7 to the defending world champion, Chicago Bears. <laughs> Third and four with five down linemen, Willie Galt makes the play and Darrell Green brings him down. On third down, it's a very important measurement, and they're short of a first down by about a yard or more. Boy, and what a good open field tackle by Darrell Green. First and ten on the 23. Flutie to put it up. Loads of time, and it's intercepted by Darrell Green, and Green is up and running. Green to the 25, and finally stopped at the 26-yard line, and the tackle is by Mark Bortz. So Flutie's second interception of the day gives the Redskins a great chance here to move closer. The difference between Doug Flutie and a veteran quarterback is that when a veteran is in trouble, he'll get rid of the football short. He's going to go long to Willie Galt in the middle of the screen. But a football takes so long to go that far. Daryl Green has all the time in the world to react to it. He makes a fine play. But Doug Flutie has to fight that urge to always go downfield with the football. Third and seven, and Schrader has completed only three of his last 14. Touchdown, Redskins! And that time, the man he beat was Mike Richardson, who went into the game having been beaten only once for a score all year. 
And Schrader, with his second touchdown pass to Art Monk, ties the game for the Redskins with 7.09 remaining in the third. Let's take a look at Art Monk just working against Mike Richardson in single coverage because of the blitz. Boy, look how badly Richardson bites on the out move. Art Monk all alone in the end zone. Boy, Richardson jumped on that thing all the way. It was single coverage, though, because of the blitz. The Bears sent everybody and didn't get to Schrader. And now Atkinson can put the Redskins in front. And he does. Steve Cox will be kicking to Gentry on the left and Sanders on the right. Short kick. And it's Gentry at the 11. Dennis Gentry returns it into Washington territory to the 43. Keith Griffin on the stop. And it was Gentry who returned the opening kickoff of this game. 61 yards. This one he returned 48 yards. First and 10 up. The Redskins 42. Neil Anderson and Peyton, and it's Anderson. Turning the corner. And a great effort by Anderson, and it's a Bears first down at the 31. Alvin Walton on the tackle. First and 10 at the 30, and they go to Anderson again. Oh, Thomas, Calvin Thomas breaks a tackle and gets another first down for Chicago inside the 20. Jordan and Coleman on the stop. And Thomas picks up 14 after Anderson got 11. First and 10 Bears on the Redskins, 18. 5.25 remaining in the third. And they go again to Peyton, and it's fumbled, and the Redskins may have gotten it. The crowd remains quiet as the Redskins have recovered a Walter Payton fumble. Payton had fumbled only six times this year, but he coughs it up as the Bears were on a scoring march. And with 5.15 to go in the third quarter, the Redskins and Alvin Walton have the ball. It's going to be Daryl Grant, number 77, coming from the inside. He puts a hat right on the football. And Walter Payton clearly drops it, as he has done repeatedly here in the late stages of the 1986 football season. And that's just something that Walter Payton does so rarely. I mean, over the course of his career, he is not one of those guys that has the label of a loose ball carrier. But in the last four or five weeks of the season, Walter's had trouble keeping hold of the football. Second and six, Kelvin Bryant in there and three wide receivers. Schrader finds Art Monk, first down, and Art Monk stays in the field and picks up more yardage to the 39-yard line, where Dewerson makes the stop, and what a game for Art Monk today, and that was an 18-yard pickup. And it's Bryant finding a hole, and Kelvin Bryant is close to first down yardage at the 49. Otis Wilson makes the tackle for the Bears. Schrader with a quick pass, and it's caught by Art Monk. Close to another first down. He's shy there, and the play made by Reggie Phillips and Dave Dewerson for the Bears. 1.50 on the clock, third quarter. Rogers in there. He gets the call. Big hole up the middle. And George Rogers has a first down to the 33-yard line, and all of a sudden, this crowd at Soldier Field is stunned by the way the Washington Redskins have kept their poise amidst a six-point deficit and come back to take the lead and driving now in the third quarter. McQuaid and McKenzie on the jumbo offense and George Rogers with Don Warren, the lead man on third and one. They go to play action and a keeper, Schrader, has a first down inside the 20-yard line. It was Phillips and Dewerson who, in effect, might have saved a touchdown on that play. Well, if there's a difference between playoff football and regular season football, a call like that may be one of the things that separates it. Jay Schrader, the fake to George Rogers. When you've got an athlete at quarterback, you can do a lot of different things. 
And that is the end of the third quarter here at Soldier Field, where it's quiet all over Chicago because the defending Super Bowl champions are trailing. Ball at the 18-yard line. Schrader. Knocked away by Richardson, and Art Monk, the intended receiver, and a penalty marker is down. Question whether Richardson had a hand on Monk. I think it's going to be interference against the Bears. And again, Washington burns a blitz. interference, 27 defense, in the end zone, first down on a one-yard line. And again, they burned the Chicago blitz. Single coverage, Art Monk, Mike Richardson, because of the blitz. Monk with a stutter step, Richardson's with him, but contact before the football, but Richardson actually got his hand on the football. Boy, that's tight. That's how tough the Bears have been against the rush when it's gotten down to the goal line. Rogers again, and he's in for the touchdown. Only the fifth touchdown allowed rushing by the Bears this year. And once again, the Redskins have capitalized on a Bear turnover to score. Ground level on the goal line. Behind Don Warren is George Rogers. The Bears gambled, went to both sides of that gap, and it was an easy touchdown for George. Less than a minute into this fourth quarter. And the kick is good, and an important kick it was because it gives the Redskins an eight-point lead at 21 to 13. Third down and 13. At the 22. Five defensive linemen up front for Washington. And it's nearly intercepted as the pass went behind Lou Barnes. And the Redskins were all around the ball, mostly Curtis Jordan. And on fourth down, Buford will come in and kick the ball. Bryant is in there now. Schrader flushed out by Perry. And Schrader will be able to run for the first down before going out of bounds at the 48-yard line. A gain of 11 for Jay Schrader. Third and four now. Schrader to wide open Kelvin Bryant and a foot race. First down Redskins and Bryant goes down. At the 27 yard line and another first down. Richardson and Dent made the tackle and a 19 yard gain by the Redskins. Dan, they're gaining so much confidence almost on every play. And the Bears are confused defensively. Look at Mike Singletary in the middle. He's going to call for a timeout. He knows he's got a problem. The motion. The motion is causing. He wants a timeout. He's not going to get it. The blitz coming from the outside. Kelvin Bryant wide open. Mike Richardson there too late. Again, the Redskins burn the Bears on a blitz. First and ten. At the 27 of Chicago. Rodgers. Gets almost five yards on the play. Second and six and Bryant. Stutter steps his way to the 18-yard line, short of a first down by about a yard and a half. It was Singletary and Fensick that time. And clock continues to run. Plenty of it left. Nine and a half to go in the fourth quarter. But... The Redskins lead the Bears in what would be a shocking surprise if Washington holds on 21 to 13. Third and one. Jumbo formation. And it's Rodgers. We'll see where they spot the ball. It'll be a 35-yard attempt. Atkinson kicked four field goals to tie the record last week. His only four for the Redskins. That's right. Jess Atkinson's kick is good, and with 8.06 on the clock, the Bears now need two touchdowns to pull this one out. It's 24 to 13 in favor of the Redskins. First and 10 Bears on their 35 with 7.58 to go. Flutie being rushed by Charles Mann, and it's caught by Pace. And he
he goes out of bounds, and if anything, a loss on the play of a couple. Second and 12 at the 33. Flutie unlimbers and overthrows Galt. Anderson and Peyton are the backs, third and 12. The Bears are only one for nine. Five-man line for Washington. Flutie loops it up. And it was intended for Emory Moorhead, the tight end, and a host of Redskins around the ball, including Curtis Jordan and Todd Bowles. It'll be fourth down, and Buford will come in and kick. And time beginning to run out on the Bears with 7.03 to go. Kelvin Bryant can't get outside, and the Bears hold with Durson and Wilbur Marshall. Showing their team speed on defense and a penalty marker down, and Kelvin Bryant is incensed. And I think Wilbur Marshall's going to get a personal foul for slapping Kelvin Bryant in the face. Oh, what a penalty if this one goes through. Personal foul, 58 defense, 15 yards, automatic first down. And if that turns out to be the one that breaks the back, it's amazing that the defensive unit committed it. Dave Duerson, Wilbur Marshall, right on Kelvin Bryant. Marshall keeps dragging Bryant. Okay, enough is enough. Now, Kelvin says something to him. Oh, but that's wide open. Third and seven with Kelvin Bryant installed again. And it's Bryant with May blocking. He's short of a first down by about four yards. It's fourth down, but the clock continues to run, and less than three and a half remain. Lou Barnes is back, and... Steve Cox will punt. Low snap. Kick takes a bounce into the hands of Barnes and fumbles. Monty Coleman picks it up and goes in for the touchdown for the Redskins. And that'll do it. Four turnovers. Three of them in the second half, and the Redskins have scored each time. A muffed ball can't be advanced. It's, they're going to rule that a muff because he never had possession. They're going to call that a muff, and he can't advance it. He'll get it at the four. Monty Coleman picked it up. So let's go back to 24 to 13. They're saying he, from this angle, from the reverse angle, he you did. can see that he never had possession of the football. That's why it's a muff. A muff cannot be advanced. 25-yard attempt now. Will they spot it? And Atkinson's kick is good. He's now six for six in the two playoff games, and it's now 27 to 13 with 225 remaining. The Bears who had a penchant for turning the ball over this year, did it again, and were burned three out of four times. If it was so easy to repeat, everybody would be doing it. Fourth and goal at the five. Flutie will try to run it, flips it, and it's knocked away by Vernon Dean on the pass intended for Keith Ortigo, and that will do it, as the Redskins will take over on downs with 15 seconds to go. And the defending champions have been upset by Joe Gibbs and the Redskins, who had to put it together in a hurry, and have shocked the Bears 27 to 13.